Good day, students. Welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over one example on related rates and application of derivatives. We're going to be focusing our attention on circles um, on this clip. So let's take a look at the question. Oil is dropping from a punctured tank onto a circular oil pool on the ground with radius r. Find the following and state their meanings in units. So let's go ahead and um, start by sketching um, a diagram of the situation. So we have a punctured tank and oil is dropping onto a circular pool. So let's say this is your pool, okay? As oil drops on the pool, what happens to the pool? The um, pool gets bigger, okay? So as indicated in the problem, the radius of the pool is R. Now, um, we're to find the RDT and the ADT. Now, this is the radius right here. So if we think about um, a circle, what formula relates the radius and the area. The formula that relates the area and the radius is the formula A equals pi r square. Okay, we learned this formula in uh, geometry. Now before, um, oh, let's go ahead and find the RDT and then we'll find out what its meaning and unit is. Okay, so part A the RDT, we are going to um, find the RDT by differentiating this formula implicitly. Okay, so we're going to differentiate the left side, the area with respect to T, and then differentiate the right side, the expression pi r square, with respect to T also. All right, let's differentiate a. So using the power rule, derivative of a to the first power is just one. Using the chain rule, dA dt, since we're differentiating with respect to t time. And then if we differentiate this expression right here, we can factor out pi since it's a constant. If we differentiate r square using the power rule, we'll have two r, and then applying the chain rule, the r dt. We're asked to solve for the r dt in part a, so we'll just isolate the r dt, okay? So let's rewrite this as the a dt is equal to 2 pi r dr dt, okay? Now, um, if you notice, 2 pi r is the circumference of the circle. So to isolate the RDT, I'll divide both sides of my equation by 2 pi r. Okay, so differentiate the left side and the right side by 2 pi r. And then we'll have the RDT. The RDT equals the ADT. <clears throat> divided by 2 pi r. Okay, so what's the meaning of this result? Let's box it. And it's unit. So, um, the RDT meaning, this is the um, rate at which the radius is changing, okay? Mm, at an instant or instantaneous rate of change at a particular time, all right? And then the unit here, now let's talk about dimensions. Now for um, radius, radius is a length, right? So radius is a length. In this problem, we're using centimeters. 
So radius is just one dimensional, okay? So it's just centimeters. Area is um, is a square of a length, right? So it's going to be centimeters square, as we can see in this case. And then volume is centimeter cube, all right? So um, the unit here is going to be um, area. What we're looking for the RDT, the change in radius per unit time. So that's simply going to be um, radius is centimeters. And then time is in, if you go to this problem here, it's in minutes. So centimeters per, per minute. Okay, so this is how fast the radius is changing. The ADT over 2 pi centimeters per minute. Now, another way you can do this is if you look at the ADT, the ADT is centimeters square per uh, minute. <clears throat> and then 2 pi r is just a centimeter, okay, over a centimeter. This cancels with that, and you end up with centimeters per minute. So that's another way of finding it out. All right, so that's the first part. The second part, we have to find the ADT. And state the unit. Well, that's easy because we already figured it out while we were looking for the RDT. This is the ADT right here. Okay, so the ADT is equal to 2 pi r dr dt. Now, what is the unit? I was the meaning first. Um, what is the meaning of this result? So let's understand what's happening with this problem. So this is a rate of change of the area at an instant. Okay, at an instant in time, how fast is the area changing? So rate of change of the area um, at an instant. Okay, instantaneous rate of change of the area. And the unit is going to be area per time. The dimension of area is units is length square, so centimeter square per. The unit of time here is minutes, so it's going to be 2 pi r, the RDT, centimeter square per minute. Okay, so that's your uh, final answer for part B. Now let's take a look at part C. It says, how fast is the radius changing when the radius is 2 centimeters and the area is changing at 2 pi, 20 pi centimeters square per minute? So radius changing, what is that? That's the instantaneous rate of change of the radius. The R dt is what we're looking for. Radius is 2 r is equal to 2. <clears throat> and then area is changing at 20 pi centimeters square per minute. This is the instantaneous rate of change of the area. This right here is dA dt. And we know that it is 20 pi. Okay, so with this pieces of information, we can set up an algebraic equation um, using any of the two equations um, and then we can find the RDT. I like to use option A, letter A's result because the RDT is already solved explicitly for. Okay, so for part C, the RDT is the ADT divided by 2 pi r. But we have just determined that the ADT is 20 pi and r is, what was r? r was um, 2. So we can uh, plug these two into this equation right here and solve for dr dt. Okay, so dr dt is equal to 20 pi over 2 pi 
times 2. If we simplify that, 2 goes here. 2 and 2 is 4, it goes into 25 times, the pies cancel up, so we have 5. Okay, so the R, dt, is equal to 5. What's the unit? Is length per time. The dimension of length in this problem is centimeters, and the unit of time is minutes, 5 centimeters per minute. What's the meaning of this result in the context of this problem? You have to understand what's going on. So what this means is um, the radius, the radius is increasing because we have a positive rate increasing at five centimeters per minute um, when the radius is um, our when the radius is, what was the radius? Uh, two centimeters. Okay, so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgoodserve.com. If you have any questions or you like to request any videos, or have any comments, include it in the comment section below this video and we'll be glad to respond. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.